Hey guys, Michelle here. So today I wanted to talk about orthostatic hypotension. This is something that happens when you go from sit, sitting to standing or laying to standing and you get this overwhelming sense of lightheadedness, like you feel like you're going to faint. So I was diagnosed with orthostatic hypotension like over 10 years ago. Went to the doctor, that's what they told me, and they were just like, otherwise you seem healthy, so if there's nothing else, you know, I guess basically deal with it, right? So I spent a good part of my life, adult life, being careful. Like, there were times where it was like really, really bad. Like, I would just be at work and every time I got up, I would feel like I was gonna faint. Um, it's not as bad now. I don't know what's really changed, but uh, I mainly notice it now when I'm working out or if it's really hot um, and I'm like overexerted and then I'm going from an up or down position. Um, like when I'm working out and I'm doing squats, like I'll sometimes when I come back up, I, I can feel it and I have to like get low and just, you know, kind of stabilize myself so I don't faint. I have actually fainted from this before, so it can be a pretty big deal. Uh, and it is actually very common in Parkinson's. So I would actually say that orthostatic hypotension was probably my first Parkinson's symptom. Now, from what I've, I've done some research and it's about 30 to 60% of people with Parkinson's have this. Uh, so if you do have orthostatic hypotension, it doesn't guarantee, it doesn't necessarily mean you 100% have Parkinson's, but there is that high percentage. So if you know somebody who has orthostatic hypotension or if you have it and you have some other symptoms that you're exhibiting that kind of lean towards Parkinson's, definitely get checked out. Um, and, uh, you know, make sure you get, make sure you go see a neurologist. But uh, I just wanted to highlight that, that orthostatic hypotension is, it, well, can be linked to Parkinson's. And I don't know if a whole lot of people are aware of that. So I just want to make a quick short video just to explain that. And um, again, talk to your doctor if, you, if you're noticing that this is happening. And hey, you know, say, I want to see a neurologist. If you want to follow through to see a neurologist, you know, I don't know, like, I, I guess like if I could go back and it would be kind of cool, like if doctors like were aware of this, like if, like if they were, if they were aware that orthostatic hypotension was a symptom of Parkinson's and then they could ask those other questions like, well, are you noticing this or are you experiencing this? You know, um, you know, sometimes this can like Parkinson's can be detected early, earlier. I don't know in my case that that would have been uh, that that would have happened because at that point um, I don't think I was exhibiting any other major signs of Parkinson's so but um, it may help somebody else kind of get diagnosed sooner than later but anyways I just want to talk about that and if you have any experience with orthostatic hypotension or whatever you'd like to share concerning Parkinson's please feel free to comment below and um, I'll come back again with another video soon all right bye